Golf Bite Online, quick fix lesson. We're looking at the grip today, how to improve that grip of yours. Okay, we're in search of the perfect grip. So, firstly, we'll take the club, we're going to grip it in our left hand first. <clears throat> Make sure that the club is gripped in the back three fingers. If it's in the palm, you're just not going to be able to release the club head through an impact. So, if it's in the back three fingers, it allows the hand to become a little bit stronger and then release through an impact. So, left hand on first, you should be able to see at least two and a half knuckles from your setup address. Okay, so make sure as a guide when you're on a, your own at home that you can see those two and a half knuckles. Another check, there should be a V between your thumb and forefinger running in between your chin and your shoulder. Okay, once the left hand is in the correct position, right hand goes on top. Again, thumb and forefinger should see a V created, runs parallel with the left hand V in between your chin and your shoulder. This then allows you to create enough forearm rotation to open the blade up and get the club square at the top of the backswing. If the hand's in the correct position, you'll get a nice strong feel at the top of your backswing. If the hand's a little bit weak, where you can only see maybe one one and a half knuckles, if you get the club into the top of the backswing, you could get the club open and then slipping out the back of your hand. If it's a little bit too strong, get the club that little bit close at the top of your backswing, again, not supported with your thumb as the hand, left hand is not in the correct position. Right hand, if the right hand tends to sit underneath the shaft, again, it becomes strong, you pick the club up with the right hand, getting the club face closed at the top of the backswing as opposed to square. I'm just going to hit one with a neutral grip. Hopefully the flight will be straight, no curvature on the ball, showing that the neutral grip has got the correct position. No curvature on the ball, nice straight ball flight. Again, hit another one now with the grip slightly stronger. Right to left ball flight, quite a lot of curvature. It's going to produce more spin, more top spin on the ball, so you're not going to get that nice soft landing with the shorter irons if your grip's very strong. Try a weak grip, see what the resulting shot is. Feels like there's a lot of forearm rotation resulting in a left to right ball flight. Okay, so that once again, the neutral grip, left hand, grip it in the back three fingers, making sure you can see that V running in between your chin and your shoulder. Two and a half knuckles visible, right hand on, V with your thumb and forefinger, parallel with your left hand V running in between your shin and your shoulder. Okay, that will result in the neutral grip and the neutral ball flight.